Hello everyone, I'm Jodi Lynn and welcome to Aging Naturally where we talk about non-invasive anti-aging solutions for the mature skin. And in today's video, I'm gonna be um, comparing three LED light mask, therapy mask, yeah. LED light therapy mask and I'm um, talking to you about which one I'm going with and why I went with it. So we are comparing the Omnilux, Aduro, and the current body. So let's get started. The reason that I chose these three LED masks was because I was not looking for a hard shell mask. I wanted something that was flexible. So I've been really doing a lot of research on LED. I've been really interested in it and wanting to make sure that I got a mask that was very well made, that was flexible, that did everything that I wanted it to do. Um, because I wanted to have it a long, I wanted to have it for a while, obviously. Um, I, I didn't want to do this. So I didn't want like a little small handheld device that I needed to move around because I'm already doing that with NUA, microcurrent, um, my EMS. And so I just kind of wanted to lay and chill and just relax. And that's what I wanted in my LED light mask. So that's why we are comparing these. It is light emitting diode therapy. Um, NASA actually originally developed it for plant growth and they found that it also could be um, used for wound healing. And then of course, this just led to a plethora of other research studies and we're finding that it helps with skin rejuvenation. So um, the skin has a wonderful ability to absorb light energy. The skin uses this energy to produce more cellular fuel naturally, otherwise known as ATP. This energy is used to promote skin fibroblasts to produce increased collagen, elastin proteins, and stimulates the body's natural healing and rejuvenating processes. Um, it is recognized clinically and offers many therapeutic benefits such as um, anti-aging, it helps to minimize fine lines and wrinkles, it also can help with chronic pain, which um, is something I really love, even hair loss, and then the blue light therapy can actually help acne by killing bacteria, which I'm very interested in as well. All of these devices um, are clinically proven, FDA cleared. They all have warranties. Just check. If you're really interested in more information about that, make sure that you check each website and their warranty and money back guarantees if there are any. Angie from Hot and Flashy did a wonderful video comparing several LED light therapy masks. And what I got from that um, video was the most important things were going to be that the LED um, light obviously meets the wavelengths where it should be at so that it is going to be effective in what it is supposed to do because each light can do different things, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Also, where it is at on the skin, being closer to the skin is going to be better um, in this case because they are at home devices and so um, they're not it, they're not going to be as intense as what you would find obviously in uh, medical offices so professional grade so they need to kind of sit close to the skin um, and also how many bulbs there are seem to be very important as well so p giving you you know more light that's going to be emitting so that's what I took from that um, all of these devices are going to sit this pretty much the same because they are a flexible mask. They have the band on the back, on the back, and so they're going to sit very close to the skin. So um, I think that that's good. There are some differences in bulbs, which we are going to talk about. And all of the intensity levels on these masks are right where they need to be. I will show you um, specifications for each. So let's talk about the current body. The current body is a red and near infrared mask. Near infrared mask means that um, the, how it's different from LED red light is that it penetrates a little bit deeper into the skin. So research shows that if you can get a mask that has red light therapy as well as infrared light therapy combined, it's actually more effective than just the red light and then just the um, infrared light. So com com combining those two can be more effective from my understanding. So the current body is red and infrared 10 minutes um, at three to five times a week. You're supposed to be able to see results in four weeks. Red light therapy is going to help with minimizing skin um, wrinkles, giving you also brighter skin and firming and toning the skin. 
Um, here are the specifications and this has 49 bulbs and I remember Angie um, kind of pointing out that this has one strap to hold it and the strap was kind of high so she felt that this part of the face was a lot closer than this part of the face which you could definitely hold but um, just kind of keep that in mind. This device is $399 and it also, um, you can, they have like a whole skincare line that's supposed to work really well with LED light therapy. Um, that obviously is gonna be in addition to that price, so just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and talk about the Omnilux. The Omnilux, again, is gonna be the red and infrared um, light. It is $395 for the face mask. It also has a neck and chest which is $395, and it also has gloves for the hands, which is $345. So if you wanted all of them, that's gonna be a pretty hefty price, but they do uh, have that for my understanding. Also, you can just take the mask and you can also just kind of place it on here. Um, it's probably not gonna be as effective because there's holes you know, in the mask and it's not gonna sit as perfectly on there, but you're gonna get some benefit, so just kind of keep that in mind. The bulbs, um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the specifications on this mask and the bulbs are 66 bulbs on this particular mask. This does have two straps. So, um, you know, so that's going to, you're going to really feel both of them are going to hold pretty tightly. So you're gonna see that both of them fit really nice and snug on the face. All right, let's talk about the Aduro. The Aduro is $319 and this actually has seven LED light therapies with 11 treatments. That's really interesting. Um, this also has an infrared boosting uh, red light. It's actually 20 minutes and you can use this actually every day. And they suggest that you do use it every day and be very consistent with it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the specifications on here. And what's interesting about this mask is that it has 198 LEDs and it also has 20 infrared diodes that actually, when you add those in, it's 218 LED lights. So that's a lot. Um, let me go ahead and show you the specifications and all of the different types of lights that this does um, produce. Red light, which of course is gonna be um, reducing um, anti-aging, stretch marks, wrinkles, brightened skin tone. Then you have your green light, which is going to help with um, sagging skin as well as hyperpigmentation. Blue light, which is supposed to kill black teria to help with acne. Blue light, which is supposed to increase cell rejuvenation and renewal. Uh, yellow light alleviates redness, and we've got somebody calling me. I'll do that later. Yellow light um, alleviates redness from inflammation, sunburn, and moratia. Orange light promotes vitality to dull um, complexions. And then they have a scion, which is another type of blue light that is actually supposed to calm and soothe irritated skin. So if you've somehow irritated your skin and it's swollen, the um, scion light can definitely help with that. And then of course the infrared light. So, whew, that's a lot. So, um, all right, so let's go ahead and talk about which one I've decided to go, for, go with. And so that you can just kind of hear my thoughts. So I am definitely going with the Adoro. Um, I am really interested. I love, first of all, I love all of the LED lights that it has with it, 218. I love the price and I also love the different lights. I really want to experiment with the blue light. I have hormonal acne and it came with a fierce, um, a couple months ago while I was on vacation and it's finally starting to come down, but I'd love to keep that at bay. So the blue light therapy definitely interests me. The uh, hyperpigmentation with the green light really interests me as well because I'm trying to work on hyperpigmentation. Um, and of course, then the red light and the infrared light, definitely. So I love being able to have all of those treatments and also I'm interested in using this for chronic pain. I've had um, some back issues. I had hip surgery a couple of years ago and I've just continued to have some issues with this area and would love to know if that might help with that so with all of the other things that I'm doing <laughs> to help with that. So I'm really hoping that that will help with that. So let us know if you have any of these LED light um, mask if you love them hate them which one you totally say you've got to have this one we would love to know if you're for you and if you're kind of like well, which one is right for me which one is the best I honestly think you can't go wrong with any one of these devices and I think that it's just gonna be about 
you know, the time that you want to put in, the effort and what it is that you're looking for um, really will depend. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick update on my weight loss journey if you've been following that. Um, so I've had some issues. I uh, One week didn't go very well. I was a little over on my calories. I like 1,400 rather than 1,300 and I actually gained a pound from that. I didn't lose it the next week, although I stayed on track. My uh, apper that I, that apper, the calorie track apper that I can't even speak, the calorie track, the calorie tracker app that I use <laughs> um, is so smart enough that it knows that if I'm not losing weight um, in the time frame that I should, that it will reduce my calories. So unfortunately, it's put me at 1200 calories, which I'm not happy about, but I'm sticking through it. So I'm about 151. I've been staying at 151. So hopefully we'll see some, uh, I've been having some hormonal issues going on. That's a whole nother conversation. So hopefully we will see some results here soon. I'll keep you updated on that. Let's go on to a viewer comment because this is really interesting. This is actually from Gianna. She says, hello, Judy Lynn. You convinced me um, about radio frequency is important. Do you know what the difference is between Nua and Nebulift? I'm not sure of the differences. So that's a great question. So NUA radio frequency uses 3D technology, which is what other professional devices use. Obviously NUA isn't, the intensity level isn't going to be as intense as professional devices because it's an at-home device, but their technology is the same as the professional devices. So that is really the main difference. Nebulift does not use the 3D um, technology. So I hope that is helpful. So if you have any other questions, make sure that you comment. I always love your comments. And if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a like. Make sure that you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you do not miss my upcoming videos. Until next time.